you would think that the FDA would take each of those ingredients and study them in, in human infants to make sure that each of, the, each of those ingredients are safe. Well, they haven't done that. They ha they've never taken vaccine quantities of each of those ingredients and done any sort of safety testing to confirm that each one of those ingredients are safe. So if you're not doing that kind of detailed analysis, and it's not that expensive to do, you simply can't make any statement about the safety of these compounds in the nervous system. But it's one of the fundamental pillars of medicine that vaccines have saved millions of people around the world and therefore can't be questioned. And I think, in my view, everything in science can be questioned. I'm a neuroscientist by training, and my studies are in the origin of neurological disease. I develop animal models of Parkinson's and Lou Gehrig's disease. Recently, we've been looking at aluminum, which is common to many vaccines. It's used as an adjuvant that means helper. Without the aluminum, the vaccine basically does not provide any long-term protection. And so my research has looked at injectable vac uh, aluminum and how it might impact the nervous system. The difference between injectable aluminum versus dietary aluminum is that aluminum that you eat is excreted fairly rapidly. Injectable aluminum, however, is meant to stick around. And that's precisely why it's there in the first place. That's what an adjuvant does. So we simply did this, the really simple experiment of taking the same stuff out of the vaccines, the aluminum hydroxide, and injecting it into mice, into the muscles, to see what would happen if we tried to mimic the vaccine schedule. We were quite surprised to see how rapidly the behavioral symptoms emerged. They showed not only behavioral deficits of motor function, but they ultimately showed cognitive deficits as well. And once we sacrificed the animals and started looking inside their brains and spinal cords, we found massive damage to motor neurons. And so we may be creating the conditions for Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, Alzheimer's disease. Maybe not immediately, but maybe 20, 30, 40 years down, down the road. We had some concerns when we released the study that it might trigger a bit of a backlash. It actually triggered a lot of silence. Pharma and the regulatory agencies largely ignored it, which is a very safe position to take because if they wanted to, to, to counter what I've said with my studies, they should have just reached into their file folder and come up with their own study and said, Dr. Shaw is simply wrong because we did this study and look what we found. And after, what, four years? They haven't done that. 